Yo, what's going on, guys? Living Proof Fitness. We back up in here, and uh, today was a fucking hard day, man. It was a push day with a little bit of triceps, a little bit of shoulder work. And I got to say, man, it was pretty fucking tough because it was almost like circuits with some of the shit that we was doing. I'm back up in here with JR. We were just moving on from one exercise to the next, really no breaks in between. And just, uh, we started off heavy, man. You know, I got them 100-pound dumbbells and shit. Pushed three sets. Then JR hopped up in there, did three sets. And then we kind of really got into things. And actually, there were some clips that I was going to put in this video, but did not put it in because... I got to tell JR. JR, I already know you're about to be watching this video. When you take control of that damn camera, you got to make sure your finger does not hit no damn buttons, man. Because it messes up the whole, uh, like, settings of the camera and shit. Which, when it comes to post-editing this shit, it, uh, it changes the whole look of the video. So, I wasn't about to have the video changing up looks. So, I just took some clips out that looked fucked up. But anyways, yeah, so uh, we moved on from uh, the incline push. We actually started off with the uh, the bench press, uh, flat bench, barbell. Um, moved on from that into the incline with the dumbbells. Just didn't post that part of the video because, like I said, that was one of the clips that got fucked up. And then we started off with this one here, too. This shit's actually pretty difficult. You go ahead and just do the regular push with the dumbbells and then you flip it around like how he just did, almost like an Arnold press, and then you press it up again. We were just doing, uh, what was it, seven, seven reps regular, and then you flip it around in the Arnold press and do another seven reps. Then you jump immediately down into the push-up position and then knock you out. Uh, well, he was trying to do it in between 10 to 15 reps, but... You also got to understand that after you starting to get burnt the fuck out, you can't really get all the reps that you want to get in. I think I was only getting in about like like five to eight push-ups or some shit after this. You know, this is already pretty deep into the workout. But I'll go ahead and try to get every single exercise that we did this day and post it down in the description just so you guys can see some of the extra ones that we did that was not posted in the video. And my shit is actually pretty sore. I mean, today is the next day posting this video. And my muscles are pretty sore, man. So, you know, if you've been hitting the gym for a good minute and you're starting to have the the luxury of not being too sore and you're really trying to feel that again just to make sure that you're still up in there putting in work, then uh, try doing some of these exercises and make sure that you're supersetting. I'm not exactly sure what this works right here. This is an uh, exercise that JR kind of introduced to me and shit. But you know what? I like the way it looks, man. It makes everything pop. So. What's up, buggy? You know, I'm always down to try new things. And I got to, you know, I was still around 185 or so with the weight. I got to start putting some weight back on, man. I'm starting to look a little too small. Still got everything popping. I mean, looking pretty vascular right there. The veins is popping out and shit. But uh, I'd rather have more weight put on and be a little bit stronger than to be really cut and be weaker. Because that was another thing that didn't get put up in the video. But when we started off with the bench, I wanted to start it off at the heaviest and then kind of work my way down. So I started off with 315, and it was crazy because I couldn't even get the 315 up. Uh, almost got it, but didn't get it, man. And eight months ago, I got it twice. So I think after going through that whole cut and then just maintaining now has made me uh, lose strength. So I'm going to start getting back on my shit. You know, winter's right around the corner. I'm going to start getting back into my bulk. Start getting my strength back up. Go through my little phase, the strength training, and then get back into the regular swing of things. And this is another good one, man. If you just watch exactly what we're doing right here, uh, you know, JR, he likes doing this shit, you know, where you just get in a lot of reps and you go over there, lower the weight a little bit, jump right back into it, do a lot of reps. 
almost you know to where you're hitting failure and then just keep doing that work your way down the ladder really burn your shit out now i wouldn't recommend that everybody does this kind of shit every single day because basically all it really is is pyramiding and as most of you guys know pyramiding can definitely lead to uh, great results but if you're doing it every single day then it's not really good for you you want to make sure that you uh doing heavy compound movements and doing your regular 8 to 12 reps probably 12 to 15 reps in order to start putting on some more size and lower reps if you're trying to put on some uh, put on some strength but yeah anyways that pretty much wraps it up for this video guys so don't forget to like comment subscribe become living proof we making gains, bruh. Are you?